today, we are with about 75 main educators. We have a building full of people. We've been eating seaweed food. It's amazing. It's like, I can't even believe it. These great things about seaweed. How can we reach people in the state? And one of the best ways to reach people is to reach out with students. Young minds are so important in effecting change, right? So um, we know that they're our future, and so what we help them understand now is something that will carry on and will be passed on. What we have been working on is actually an education project with MAIC, supported by WWF and a number of other partner organizations across the state of Maine. What we're doing is we're working with this book called With a Little Kelp from Our Friends, this book has a bunch of information about history of seaweed and different types of seaweed uses around the world. So everything's linked together. There's a video, there's classroom activities, and there's a book. We've connected all of those sophisticated ideas with helping teachers to implement it. Even as somebody who lives in Maine, I didn't understand the full impact that um, kelp and seaweed has on our state and really worldwide um, and how great of a resource it is. And so being able to bring that knowledge across, um, across the country, I think would be really beneficial. And I think it will help um, bridge some gaps and provide new resources for people who didn't know they were there. And I think even for communities that aren't coastal, just thinking about alternative food sources and alternative ways of farming is really important. Educators who care about Maine, who care about our students, who care about teaching them about this world that I love, means that just maybe this thing that I love gets to stay. And that's a big deal. Seaweed does no harm. It only does good. And so I really think that if we can all embrace it and get behind this initiative, just good things, better things are coming. But it starts with education.